Um, so we've got another Playtoons one. So as I've mentioned, these are the guys. Uh, I think it's developed by Cocktail Vision and published by Sierra Online. And it's like, yeah, all like uh, little animated storybooks for... Story um, you want to watch. What's his face? Like European comics. And we, we're up to this one. So this is the case of the counterfeit collaborator. Um, I've heard of this guy before, so I was reading up on him quickly. So he's some, um, he's from this French comic from the 1930s uh, called Spiro. Um, so he's kind of like Tintin. He's got a, like a, yeah, this one's definitely 90s. This would be 95, 96, I think. But... Um, yeah, I, I've had an interest with this one because, um, yeah, we're going to get to the story. The Just, <laughs> they got to hold your hand with these games, the don't they? Um, yeah, so the, the art style kind of reminds me of, like, um, Asterix and uh, Tintin, which is sort of what I, I used to read them at the library, like, all the damn time. I love them. Still love them. Like, they're actually still going today. But apparently Spiro's, like, a bellhop that's also a journalist um not really sure what the go is but we'll find out 15 when we years ago play this. my colleagues and i swore a solemn oath to dedicate part of our work to a strictly humanitarian cause carrying the code <laughs> what okay and that's what we found with these playtoons games like they don't really they sort of do as much story as they can but they yeah it doesn't quite fit everything there's actual problem oh no i was actually reading up apparently there was a um series uh tv series of spiro in the 90s so these might be um clips from that show <laughs> oh look at this <laughs> what was the tennis player from way back when the guy that won wimbledon a lot like the swall version of him <laughs> okay but uh, yeah, <laughs> usual thing. Oh yeah, that's yeah. The old racist stereotypes from. I I can't blame it for that because, like I said, these comics came out in, like the thirties. It was a very long time ago. Um, can we click on anything else? Um, no, we just had that one. Oh, oh dear, afraid my instant so, um, device isn't quite perfected. Okay, so we got some people working. I guess these guys are collaborating to um cure the Coleman cold or something. Hello? <gasps> Hello? Hmm? Is anyone there? Hello? Hello? Oh, that's like a full-blown animated thing. That's cool. <laughs> What's the... Thought I'd just pop in! Pop in? Count? Surprise! How are you, Spiro? Count? Really? It's... It's two in the morning. Precisely, dear boy. <laughs> I have a vitally urgent mission for you to undertake. What is Hello? he up to? Is he Hello? just doing squats in his what? lab? Great threat? Is he what jealous of, like, the tennis player and he's trying to get swallowed as well? And he's starting Count the leg day. Neck? Are you all right? Speak to me. Oh, no. Quick, Spit. Something's happened to the Count. Okay. Fantasio, something's happened to the Count. He sounded so high-spirited, and then that piercing yell. Fantasio, you listening? Yeah, so apparently Fantasio is his, just his mate that's also a journo. Um, that's the other thing. Like, I, I only know of Spiro because um, there was a cartoon series that Disney did in the 90s called uh, Marsupial Army. Uh, it was this, like, monkey that was all in leopard skin, and he had this, like, super long prehensile tail. Um... But yeah, apparently he featured in like the Spiro comics back in the day. To be read to you. No, we'll be, we don't need to be, have it read. We'll look for some hotspots for fun stuff. As we do. <laughs> oh, that is a loud snore. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, oh, we're just oops, skipping the real of the story. Quick, Fantasio. Not familiar with name of my free time. Before my time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's um I'm trying to remember when that came out, like ninety six, ninety seven, I wanna say. So probably about I remember watching Bonkers about the same time as um Mar Super Army was on. And it was yeah, definitely produced and animated by Disney. Cause yeah, they definitely had top spot for cartoons in the nineties. Oh, 
Got all that in Warner Brothers with all the um, Animaniacs and stuff. And hopefully I don't have to do a puzzle with this. I guess there's... yeah, any more... Um... No. I guess they're going sort of serious with this one. I... Hmm, okay. Um, no, move on. But they probably had to leave a lot of you stuff out so if they're having, like, this level of, well. um, Fantastic. animation quality for the videos. Wrong? Something wrong? Oh no, of course not! I love bad scientists and their midnight <laughs> pranks almost as much as I love a moonlight drive when I have a horrible head cold! A head Murder cold? Mystery Disguised well, as a Kid you, game? A yeah, cold. I think it really might be. Because they always did that, like, yeah, going off, um... Tintin, because he was quite young and always, like, solved mysteries and got into adventures and stuff. It was kind of a trend for, like, European comics back, yeah, way back when. And I'll point that out, too, like, um, I remember Asterix being specifically French, but Tintin and Spiro, uh, I think the guy who wrote it was Belgian. Yeah, yeah, like, I couldn't get over the, um... How would you survive that we saw Why yesterday? Learning all As the stuff, that fucked up stuff that um, Vikings and middle, Incans and Indian Indian stuff do. Um, I must tell you, Dupilon, we must cover our rear guard. Is that, any, is that a euphemism? Okay. People don't put messages in bottles on dry land. They use the phone. Now, why isn't our statue here? Is there a spy in the ointment? Has our secret fled the I think that's how they got away with it, too. Like, nothing bad ever really happened to the kids. They were usually got through and solved the mystery and stuff, and they no, usually weren't in any fog, real danger. I... <laughs> <laughs> yes, the young Egyptian lady having a baby shit. God, that so cracks me up. <laughs> baby shit. <laughs> I actually was looking a bit at the um, Sopranos prequel as well. It doesn't look too bad. I did see someone in there, one of the actors I actually liked. I can't remember who, though. Oh, it's just the bird. Yeah, not really much in the way of hotspots in this one. Like, yeah, I guess the the videos are taking up that much in the disc. Oh, that's loud. No, just a firework. Okay. Um... Yeah, not much else for hotspots. Okay. Alright, moving on. He thinks my ears detect the thrum of a powerful engine. <laughs> oh! Did you not espy the intolerable confederates of our local sorcerer, Count Champignac? Mr. Mayor, you, you're you too heavy for me. I tell you, Dupilon, we must cover our rear guard and, and yeah, the um, out with a steady hand. I'm presuming the show was in French originally and then, like, got translated to English because... I don't think it translated well. <laughs> yeah, right, eh? Count! Count Chopinac! <laughs> He's creeping no on that guy. Relax, uh, the whole thing must be another prank. It's gonna give him some uh, pudding pops. Uh, okay. What's up in this area? Count! Oh, that's cool that you're, like, clicking you to progress the story at certain points. It's, oh, well, to show off extra cutscenes and stuff. Oh, that's terrifying. Um, that'll creep out some oldies, I imagine. <laughs> what? <laughs> Speaking of creepers, holy shit. Okay. Are you here? Yeah, fair enough. And yeah, I really want to, yeah, just <laughs> the yawn and blow kisses, just, yeah. I suppose we got a bit of that with um, Beauty and the Beast back in the day too, didn't we? Count! Yeah, fair enough, okay. Yeah, because I've seen a couple of other Cocktail Vision games and they did some weird stuff back in the day. Yeah, yep. If Tintin was a 50s greaser. Yeah, like, that's... I, I think that's what it was. Like, Tintin got more popular in the West, but he was still around the same time as Spiro. They just had... They were very similar thematically, I reckon. No one. Maybe he's in the lab. 
I know they spoofed Spiro in like last time we played one of these games. I was talking about um, uh, uh, Le Casos, weird little um, French show that I came think out. He wants me to catch pneumonia. Okay. Um, I forgot the name of the dog. That's a. Oh no, it's apparently a squirrel. Sorry. Some please. Oh, he's a cute little thing. But yeah, I've seen like... Yeah, speaking of creepers as well, I, I did come across a, um, a, a Belgian comic, I think, that may have been done by, like, similar artists that have done, like, these kids' ones. Um, Rui Ortges, um, which is apparently Belgian for Red Ears. It's kind of like, I've seen those sort of comics before. It's the ones you see, um... Like in the porn mags, like uh, picture and people, uh, the the main ones you get in um, in Australia, and there'd be a section for like um, little one panel dirty comics and um, like jokes and stuff like that. But yeah, I've seen I, I've seen them around before, but they're kind of funny actually. They they basically just like retell dad jokes, but draw like sexy ladies and stuff like that. Uh, what's going on there? Okay, someone's watching a David Lynch movie on the TV. Count. Still can't... <laughs> they're terrible detectives, aren't they? They're not looking for clues or anything, they're just yelling out to try and find him. And was that necessary? Well, this guy wants to sleep. Can you... You're not going to let me turn off the lights? Can we just annoy him? Oh no, we saw that. He's dreaming about being asleep. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's it for hotspots. Yeah, all right. Next page. Fantasio, quick, come and see. I think he wants me to catch the boat. He just read that out in the story. Okay. Listen, Spiro. Oh, you found him. He's alive, but it's bad. It was just a matter of time, all those ridiculous experiments with those revolting mushrooms. Okay, so he's getting high on his own supply? Just tripping out on mushies. Good way to do science, I suppose. Yeah, it's a bunch of wokey bump with a 20-piece marching band, exactly. That's, that's usually how cartoon characters get woken up. Oh, what the hell was in there? Okay, that was a bit weird. He's alive, but it's bad. It was just a matter of time all those ridiculous experiments with those revolting mushrooms. Yeah, at this point, you might as well just show us the episode of Spiro that this was from. Because we watched, um... Yeah, after you left uh, yesterday, Anchor, we watched, um... Knowledge Adventure Speed, which was basically just like a little 15 minute documentary about like the advancements of um, speed in technology. It was interesting, but yeah, it didn't really make for an exciting uh, game and it crashed. It also crashed. <laughs> no need for that. What do you think of my little joke, my friends? Hysterical what? Yeah. I don't believe it. <laughs> He's alive, but it's bad. Let's kill him. <laughs> Is the word fantastic. Yeah. I have a brand new serum. Who are they? Yeah, it's it happens. It happens fairly well, often with these games. Politis, hilarious. It stimulates the sense of humor. The, um, <laughs> but yeah, um, I feel like a kid again. So I put up the first part. Like I've been doing that. Like just streaming three or four games and just putting it up on YouTube every two days. So the um, the speed one will be up in four days from now if I keep with the schedule. And then we can do three more today. What do you think of my little joke, my friends? But Count, you what? mentioned an urgent mission, a grave threat. So the tripping out on mushrooms was a prank? It was just a prank, bro? Okay. Oh, this squirrel's gonna go ape shit on this stuff. Oh, I thought he was gonna drink it. Hang on, is this... <laughs> this is starting to remind me of, like, is this how The Last of Us started in Europe? Like they got that mushroom virus that like a grave threat. Oh, go silly. Turn people into giant forgot. mushrooms. Let me see. Where did I put it? Okay. But count, you mentioned an urgent mission, a grave threat. Ah, oh, nothing on this guy, he's still asleep. Okay. Um some weird stuff in the jar. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, I did hear about that as well. The news was saying that um, Konami's collaborating with a dev team to... Oh, yeah, yeah, you never know what the ins devs were inspired by. Cordyceps virus. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, something spore-related if we're talking mushies. Could be a prequel to The Last of Us too, yeah. And it's weird too, like I was mentioning, um, the last Playtoons game was basically the French version of uh, Supernatural. The kids were like young Sam and Dean. But um, yeah, so apparently the dev team behind the new Silent Hill game is going to be Bloober Team, who did um, Laser Fear and Observer. Um, I quite liked Observer because it was one of the last things uh, Rutger Hauer did, but um, I don't think they're up to doing a Silent Hill game. Yeah, the writing's a bit better, <laughs> yeah, a bit better than Last of Us. Uh, I imagine Neil Druckmann would have been a little bit too young to do this game, thankfully. <laughs> or busy doing Crash Bandicoot as well. I don't know if he was around when Crash Bandicoot was a thing. I know Naughty Dog's been around for a while. I was going to try their first game, um, Eric the Unready, it's called. It's on the cards at some point. Part of our work to a strictly humanitarian cause. Carrying the code? No, relieving world hunger. So we arranged to meet secretly at Shopping Act 15 years later to reveal the results of our labors. In fact, we arranged to meet today. A secret meeting? So why invite us? I'll explain. Yesterday, I received a warning from Interpol that an imposter might slip in among my colleagues. An imposter? Yes, an imposter, a spy working for a huge international food corporation seeking to use our discoveries for its own profit. In that case, you should call the police, don't you think? Mm, to tell the truth, I didn't take the warning seriously. But what if I'm wrong? That's why I finally decided to call on the two people I trust most in the world. Us? <laughs> Good grief, I must learn to keep the lab tidy. Okay. Yesterday, I received a warning from Interpol that an imposter... Oh, and yeah, like this, they're just telling the story to us. Like, this bit isn't necessary, is it? But that's an interesting thing. Like, yeah, they want to solve world hunger by creating some sort of mushroom liquid and corporations want to steal it and sell it off. VA for the count sells, sounds familiar. Yeah. Could be. Imposter? Oh, they're doing that too. Well, warning. They're reading out. Oh no. Yesterday. Oh no, these guys cheated. Because I remember that in these games, you can click on the words, and um, they read out the individual thing. But this one, they've just cut the audio from the actual sentence. Uh, TTS. Yeah, yeah. Actually, no, no, this wouldn't be text-to-speech because someone, they used to pay actors to actually, like, physically read out all these lines. Like, we played um, Blinky Bill a couple of months back. They did a few games for that, and I mentioned the guy was a famous Australian voice actor. He did, like, the narration in um, Thingo, George of the Jungle, um, and did, like, Looney Tunes voices for, like, the Australian audience if they did ads for him. Oh, I'm stuffed up. But yeah, I'm trying to think. Oh no, we can check. There'll be credits at the end. We'll be able to see who the uh, voice actors are. I might recognize someone. <laughs> Is that the ghost of the dead children that was um, cleaned up with those tissues? Um. <laughs> Oh wow, okay. Oh, uh, what? Why did that turn into a Venus flytrap? <laughs> yep. That's part of the fun, mate. You gotta be a little bit gross sometimes. Yeah, alright. So, Eddie Clusbiru? Well, we'll have no trouble identifying Professors McIntosh and Sushiyaka. We already know them. Uh, racial profiling much, Spiro? Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on either. Uh, yeah, it, it seems like they wanted to do a full story, but the technology was just behind. They had to fit it all on, like, one CD. 
and you sort of had to cheap out, like I do it with it text pictures. Like videos took up a shit ton of space on um, CD-ROMs back in the day. Good thinking, Count. Yeah, well, why see, am I? I I I need to get a hold of soon. drugs. Uh, they're supposed to arrive together. <laughs> don't 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 give me drugs, uh -huh. Anchor. <laughs> Here they are. We'll, we'll organize the coffee machine at some point. But yeah, don't worry about drugs. So I can find them on my own. The culprit. <laughs> Fat chance with my dose like this. Huh? Look at that. <laughs> Come As here, you Fantasio. Should. This one's not Drugs in the photo. Bad. He must be the imposter. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Yeah. Anymore. <laughs> yeah, I've mellowed out my old age, too. I think last session I had was with my uncle, like, <laughs> years ago now. Out. Professor Van Camper! <laughs> oh, what? Always the Joker! I should oh, have the imposter, yeah. Tire, but where are the Someone found him out. Way. He's going to be ejected from the ship soon. <laughs> I wanted to have my little joke first. He's going to be outvoted three to one. And... <laughs> Yeah. My apologies. Oh no. <laughs> it's like the English dub of monkey magic, isn't it? Them, let me present my friends. Professor Van Camper. Sushiaka. Professor Sushiaka. Okay. Professor Mac in touch. Mac in touch. That's not Red racial Yugi. at all. Happy to be here. <laughs> no. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> so I'm sure these guys have got some fantastic voice lines that are um, appropriate to their race. Uh, to those who don't already know them, let me present my friends Spiro and Fantasio. They have agreed to cook and care for us during the proceedings. <laughs> Very interesting. I guarantee their absolute discretion. We are building a fighting force of extraordinary magnitude. <laughs> God, I haven't watched Kentucky Fried Movie for years. I love that. Uh, to those who don't already know them, let me present my friends oh, we just Spiro saw that one. and Fantasio. They have agreed to cook and care for us during the proceedings. Oh, what? I they didn't say anything about special. that. Cook and clean for the old men? It's not what a Jenna does. Professor Van Camper of Tippecanoe, you. <laughs> a great practical jokester. Beware. Oh, yeah, so he's definitely the imposter. I think he did it. I'm just going to call it now. He's he's definitely, he's very sus. Professor Sushiaka? Let me express my inexpressible joy to be once more at your ancestral home, honorable count. Why is his mouth an anus? <laughs> Professor McIntosh. Who can at last trim this infernal deed? Oh, he's meant to be Scottish. Okay. Until this memorable deed. Oh, was he wearing? Because it looks like he's wearing pants there, but not in the Professor video. McIntosh. Who can at last trim this infernal beard? You know not to cut it. Oh, he's just. Oh, okay. No, it looked like he had like very pale legs, like my Scotsman do. I don't know. Professor and Grand Yogi, happy to be here. Greetings. Excuse my blissless attire. An unfortunate accident of concentration recently. When the mind wanders, the body falls. Oh, so he was levitating and goofed up. Okay. Uh, is this... I'm guessing this is a Sita case. Yeah, it's a very phallic to case. So. Greetings. Excuse my blissless attire. An unfortunate oh, we're just getting this again. Okay. Recently. When the mind wanders, the body falls. Yeah. They got it right, at least. Like, I remember the Sita having, like, a pretty round kind of body at the end. And just, like, a very long neck. Yes, yes. Now, gentlemen, I propose we gather the plans of our inventions and place I them I wonder in if he's the yogi that, um, mind to that got under drugs with the of Beatles course, when they had their, like, we'll celebrate this momentous when they, reunion yeah, had their, like, phase in the late 60s. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I absolutely love the um, the George Harrison song from uh, Sgt. Pepper's but with the Cita. So it's hard to take serious, isn't it? Very, very uplifting. A toast, my friends, to the success of the project. Hang You'll on, have no. no trouble identifying Professors McIntosh and Sushiyaka. Are Hindi's allowed to drink? I can't remember if they are or not. Because I have heard that apparently... Um, yeah, they, there's a lot of advertising they can't do for certain products in India. Um, they all have something to hide behind. So I, yeah, like I don't think you can advertise suspects. alcohol in India, but I don't know. 
Uh, unless that's not soup, I... Okay, no, never mind. A little flour for thickening? I do fucking settle down on the flour, mate. That's that's gonna put lumps in it. I know how to do stews. That's that's way too much flour. <laughs> yeah, all right. Um, any other the pot lid? The no, we just clicked that. Mind, so more or less, they're all suspects. <laughs> yeah, I know they cheap out and do mouth noises for some of the sound effects. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, that was a bit lazy. They have to do that too. They seem to like make the animations go like that so it resets to this like static image. But I think that's all we can click on here. Hey, too bad I don't know a recipe for truth serum. Oh well, soup's on. Your move, partner. I have my suspicions, but. <laughs> Careful, Fantasio, I always- no. Look at me! You think I like wearing two cups of flour? Okay. They all have something to hide behind, so more or less, they're all suspects. I have my suspicions, but- Yeah, they're all pretty sus, aren't they? Um... Oh, what? Yeah, old Fantasio's got the coof, I guess. Uh, it legit looks like he's sitting on that bottle. Well, I won't talk any more about that. <laughs> and this boy's thinking of giant cupcakes? Okay. Uh, Professor Sushiaka, there's something in your hair. May yeah, this I... is this is weird, isn't it? <laughs> oh. Why did he do that? Okay. Uh, not going to question it. I'll I'm just along for the ride now. Professor. Oh, well, don't go away. I'll find something. Yeah, any well, one of them making mistakes. They're no not cooks, wind, no they're journalists. And <laughs> you wouldn't happen to have an extra can of soup, would you? What? You sacrificed my soup? What's one little pot of soup? We're out to feed the world here. Oh, are they, like, actually trying to test to see if the hair and beard are false? I think so, yeah, yeah. That sounds about right. I, uh, took the liberty of preparing my own contribution to the festivities. My word! Oh, it's meant to, yeah. mushroom-shaped uh... meringue pudding. Oh. And magnificently mouth-watering. We must remember to get the counted dishwashing machine. Shit, I didn't have Pavlova last that? Christmas. Do love my Pav. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of my gourmet giggle? <laughs> hey! <gasps> Professor, you're happy to be here! As did the Bikini Girl, Skull Reaper, thank you very much for the follow. Hope you're enjoying the acid trip that is um, Spiro, the case of the counterfeit collaborator. Oh, this is going to be fun. Yeah, I'm interested to see what the inventions are. Okay. Well, our investigation is hardly progressing by leaps and bounds. Oh, he's going to have the cull for the whole thing, isn't he? Cool, like, uh, yeah, I'm surprised that the amount of, like, full-screen video we're getting for this. Because, like, that clip would probably... Because, like, I was explaining to other people, like, uh, ages ago, that video compression wasn't a thing in the 90s either. Like, you didn't have codecs. Um, so if you put a video in there, it had to be, like... Yeah, the the right resolution, the right bit rate to actually be a reasonable size. Like that would have been I wanna say about four or five megs on that video. Maybe more. Actually no, maybe late I think late nineties they started to do video compression. Or they did workarounds, they did interlacing, so they'd cut out like they'd have it so it wouldn't display um yeah, it'd sort of be like you were watching it through a set of blinds or something like that. It was, uh, yeah, weird, weird workarounds they came up with to have video and on CDs. Um. Oh, dear. Yep, he's back on the mushies again, isn't he? Woof. Right, moving on. Oh, uh, what is that baby photo, by the way? <laughs> Whose baby is that? 
moves to act fast. Okay, someone's stealing some plans. Hey, Sparrow. Hear anything? Yes, you! That does it. Something's going on. <laughs> I've cracked the keys. Stop, thief! Reach for the sky! <laughs> okay. Fantasio, what's going on? <laughs> A thousand pardons. You see, I walk in my sleep. Your friend startled me, and I, I automatically used the paradising karate yo. Oh, no. But I oh, nice. You hit him with um, and temporary. pretty much everything Japanese-related. Maybe some um, Hokuto, like it's North Star style. Attic. Maybe a Jutsu or something like that. Because that was a stereotype, wasn't it? They presumed every Asian knew like some form of kung fu. It seems the situation is playing pranks on our nerves. We must try to get some sleep. You're right, Count. Come on, Spip. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> oh my, one well, more. It seems Shinderu. the situation is playing pranks on our nerves. Well, our investigation is hardly progressing by leaps and bounds. Yeah, non-lethal fist of the North Star. It might kill him in like seven years or something. That's what most of those pressure points do. <laughs> um, oh my god! What? Um, let's not click on that again. <laughs> What's up with that seagull? Yeah, no, that was freaky. I'm sorry about that. We've been getting. We, there's a surprising amount of jump scares in these sort of games. Ah, oh, freaks me out. What was the other one we saw? The one for Alpha Bonk Farm? That was meant to be like legit disturbing. Oh, Busy Billy as well. Yeah, that one's another one we had. Um, okay, what else we got? Hi. Oh, really? <laughs> I love the Yogi guys just cheating, just floating along. Poke and prod letter H. Yeah. <laughs> Feeling better, Fantasio? A little stiff after spending the night standing up, and the code refuses to break. Just like our case. Great Scott! <laughs> what now? The wall safe! <laughs> Splash boiling water on his face. The strong box was open. Some Poor old Fantasio. Some of key. Huh? Of all oh, it was an actual well, scary I'm thing from. I've heard things oh. about the um the walrus from oh. Pingu. <laughs> Apparently that episode's like banned if they show it to kids these days. Do you have another key to the strong box besides the one you gave me? Another key? Yes, of course. Just a moment. Good grief! It's I used gone. to get freaked out by um. Spiro, my worst nightmare. Oh, when you open the hatch and the old man's like, ah! No, yeah. no, count. Relax. Yeah, Someone that. just tried to steal them. As a last-minute precaution, I hid them elsewhere. Ah. I understand. I what was, was um, to speak of the safe for all yeah, like I remember sprite based 3D games freak me out. Like, yeah, I couldn't play Daggerfall when I was a there kid. Is an imposter among us. Always got hit up by like zombies and harpies and shit. Come on, Spip. The Count and his colleagues want to get started. That doesn't seem like they <laughs> Another Among Us quip. That's it. Yeah, I think that's the name of the squirrel. The squirrel's name is Spip, I think. Ah, plans. Thank you, yeah. Spiru. Well, everyone, <laughs> the moment we have awaited so long is finally here. Well, that actually might get the um, YouTube video some views if I just put it as, like, French, Belgian, and Among Us or something like that. All right. Um, oh, he, he, he's not going to... I want him to play the sitar, if anything. Yes, my friend, oh, there we go. This sinister object is a bomb, but not a bomb like other bombs. Um, sorry, it is what? It with my invention, a super powerful fertilizer. Very clever! Well, oh, hi, it's ingenious! As you can see, my idea is very simple. Oh, it's a bazooka the the world to that, that shoots fertilizer bombs. These crackpots would drive me crazy! Uh... Yeah, yeah, like this snake charmer flute, but a bazooka? There seems to be a minor error in trajectory. Oh no, I've covered myself Hello, in shit. Hello, citizens, a blaze of glory is about to descend on Champagnac. Yes, about to Oh no, they're the gonna get shit bombed. The force of a celestial starburst uh -oh. is that glorious monument that our beloved town so richly deserves. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, what's it, what's your invention, Mr. Scotsman? Hello, scientists. You've all heard of the dreaded tsetse fly. You know its sting wreaks havoc on the livestock of the third world. Oh. Well, feast your it. eyes on this demonstration. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? A robot oh. flies water. It's not really doing its job well, is it? Yeah, one down, several trillion TT's flies to go. <laughs> the most striking scientific discovery since Newton's apple. Oh, splendid! Spectacular! Okay. A shit bomb, a really crappy CT fly swatter. What's the joke you guy got? So long as. Uh oh, just as I feared. Alas, my demonstration requires a bright sunny day. Oh, so he's skipping out because it's raining. All right. The transporting of large quantities of food to those in need is a major worry. So, this is my solution. Concentrated to the extreme by my special process, a cube of soya extract equal to one ton of natural soya. Oh. So, dehydrated tofu. Raj Quantrakis, yeah. Right, but that thing about Jimmy's nothing but a bullion cube. But, please, Fantasio. And I could prove it. Oh, don't do that. Oh, no, we're going to get some inflation fetish shit now, aren't we? Extra put order. Oh no, he's just going to trip out. He might understand the story now, these on guards. I have an idea. Here, sniff hard. I remember that was the running joke with like the Marvin the Martian cartoons, like the dehydrated alien minions that he had. You just had to like pour water on him. Okay, what? Oh, oh no, we saw the um, professor's invention, didn't we? Uh, anything else? No, okay, so we're getting... Spiff, where were you? And what have you brought Yeah, back? that's right, and like the dehydrated or food pills and stuff like that. Where did you find this? Wait, it's... Oh no! What's wrong? No time to explain. Keep an eye on them and their plans. Above all, no one leaves. No one. Yeah, right, what am I supposed to do? Sit on them? <laughs> Don't sit on them. Just, just keep them there. Unbelievable! Well, uh, yeah, I'm actually me, interested Carol? to see oh, if I can Spiro, find yes, yes, the, like, the cartoon on YouTube you or something. Succeeded. Isn't that so, I'm actually surprised what? at the amount of stuff I've found on YouTube you just sitting there. small error which did not go unnoticed by Spip. The game's over, Rasputnikov. Uh, Spiro. I'm you sorry, the squirrels. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I must be so the professor's like Russian? <laughs> Sweet dreams, gentlemen. Not so fast, pal! But... but how? By code! I can't spell a thing! <laughs> <laughs> just knocks him out anyway. <laughs> you won't get far, Rasputnikov! No, huh? Rasputnikov, well, you okay. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt Bunny M is gonna sing a song about this guy. <laughs> Count Champignac, in the name of the law, I am placing you under arrest for the desecration. Hang on, isn't he the mayor? Wasn't he a is he a cop or the mayor? He might be a spoof of um thingo. Uh, Congratulations, Mr. Hercule Poirot, if it's a Belgian comic. A great service to all humanity. Because I remember Poirot's got that sort of mustache. Ingenious, Rasputnikov. Ah. A silicone mask equipped with an anti-gas filter. <laughs> what? Yeah, okay. Okay, solved. Great, we found the imposter. This diabolical bandit told me the whole story before sedating me and stuffing me in a chest in the attic. He'd been spying on me for weeks. Okay. Yeah, that was... 
<laughs> this unexpected. This diabolical told me the whole story before sedating me and stuffing me in a chest in the attic. He'd been spying on me for weeks, learning all my habits and practicing my voice endlessly. He became my perfect double who thought of everything. Perfect Everything double except for the except silicone mask. Your intervention, my friends. Okay. Oh, so they found the pin off the thing and noticed he had the same pin or something. Okay. Fair enough. Well done. Well done, Spip. You solved the case. To tell the truth, Count, Spip deserves most of the credit. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking squirrel solved the case. Wow. <laughs> Ah, my colleagues and I will be forever in your debt, my friends. Oh, okay. It's back to the thing. I'm g is that what it? What was your invention? And Professor Von Camper's? Bless my whiskers. You're right, Fantasio. You first, Professor Van Camper. The sun is shining as brightly as anyone could wish. Yes, but please, after you count. As you wish. Okay, more drugs. Oh no, that'd be. Oh no, you started the plague that from the Last of Us. Okay. I've developed these delicious instant oh, was mushrooms. That bone meal is it? Minecraft rules. They can grow even in a <laughs> desert. <laughs> what? An I fear my effort will look puny in comparison to yours. It's Count the Count Mushroom Count. Kingdom. You see why it's no use in the storm. <laughs> and he made a fragrance that causes storms? Okay. It's to end the drought, you see. Yeah, that's what Europe needs. More rain. <laughs> oh, Spiro got the cold too. God, that was... That was so weird. All right, so we get some credits. So yeah, Cocktail Vision. I guess they're crediting the TV show as well. Sierra adapted the script, okay. A lot of French names. One guy on the soundtrack, yep. Karen Strubman. Oh no, I know what that is. So there's actually a voice actress called Karen Strassman. I'm guessing the B's meant to be like the Germanic double S. But she's. Yeah, I think we were talking about her last Playtoons because she was in that as well. But yeah, American voice actress, and I think she lives in France because she can apparently speak fluent French as well. Yeah, no, I just realised that too. Yeah, so even like the male voices and stuff, that's pretty good. I think she's still around too, as far as I know. But. Um, I'm going to leave off, like, there's a little interactive storybook thing you can do with this, but every time I've played it, it's crashed, so I'm just going to avoid that one. We, I think we got our fix with the story, like, that was just weird, wasn't it? It was a weird story. So, so strange. It's just, Europe, man. Europe, no, I know where it's at. I'm watching Death Sandals video, by the way. That's that's who the, the person is. So if you want to watch a full playthrough, Death, Death Sandals... <laughs> 